Rusky's Crypto Cave here. This is my 3900X CPU mining rig. As you can see, it is absolutely filthy. Definitely needs to be cleaned. And I also need to do my 2700X as well. It's also very dirty. So the game plan today is I am shutting them down, getting them cleaned up, and I am going to migrate them to MMPOS because they are currently on Hive. And I'm going to swap them over to MMPOS, and which you can do right from Hive, from my understanding. So I'm going to walk through that and see how that process works and see how long it takes. My guess is the download and install process is going to take a little bit just because you got to download the whole OS and all that stuff. So, But let's get this puppy cleaned up and then we'll get her back, turned back on in Hive and start the migration. Alrighty, got her back up and running and did attach a monitor to it uh, just so I could kind of watch and see what's going on as we do this migration from Hive OS to uh, MMPOS. And I just attached one of those MSI G710s or whatever they are. Um, but Hive OS detects it as a GPU rig then and then wants to charge a dollar a day when that thing's attached or a dollar a month or whatever it is or $3 a month instead of the 30 cents a month. Um, but I know in MMPOS, I could actually leave that attached. And since that's under three gigabytes, um, it still counts as a CPU rig. And uh, there's no charge for CPU rigs. So they're free. So any MMPOS has a stipulation that if there's any GPUs with three gigabytes or less, um, there, there is no charge. So um, these are going to be the first CPU rigs are the first ones moving over. Plus this one needed to be cleaned. Uh, 2070 desperately needs to be cleaned too as well. Um, so I'll get those that one cleaned up next and get that migrated over. And uh, But I had this on um, to monitor what's going on basically. No pun intended with the monitor. Um, but hash rate is 13,238 13, hashes on RandomX, on Zephyr, on the Cryptex snap pool. The other change I did make when I hooked up the monitor to it is I finally actually went into the BIOS and updated the voltage and it was set at 1.296 and I dropped it down to 1.0625 I think it was something like that um, just barely over the one from reading says sometimes 3900s will run good at one volt some are just like 1.1 so I kind of put it in the middle just to see how it works um, temps are down hash rate is basically the same uh, so I think I'm just going to leave it at this and see how she runs. But I'm going to go over to, to the desktop, start recording, and then we'll start going through the migration process. Alrighty, here we are in my Hive OS, and this is my 3900 rig. As you can see, uh, temps are, in this, are set 74. Previously, they were actually 82, so the temps, actually, some temps dropped a little bit. Um, I'm not too worried about it, because uh, actually during the summer months when it did get warmer in the house, it was up in the 80s and it's mid-80s, and it still ran fine. Um, I probably could use a new pace job because it's been running for three years, maybe even four, something like that. And it's been going for a while. Um, but, um, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to do a migration. So, um, I'm going to connect by a web shell. Damn it. I think I remember the password. Yep. All right. So now go into high in the MMPOS. And here are the instructions. I guess we copy it all. Oops. Um, we're already in the root directory, so I don't think. Damn it. I'm just going to try pasting that. Oh, 
Well, that didn't work. Let's try doing all of it. Do what this does. No. Alrighty, after messing around for a little bit, I may have figured it out, but we're gonna give it a whirl. Um, I was had to do some searching through uh, the MMPOS Discord to find out uh, what it is, because uh, the commands are not this. I'm not sure what that is, but um, I had the commands right here. Um, so I want to give that a whirl and see what we get. I got this copied. Well, that didn't work. I mean, I have to do them one by one. Let me start this over. Get logged in the hive. Sudo su slash tmp. Oops. There we go. Do the first one. Hmm. Let's try this. W. Yeah. HTTP. We get HTTP mirror MMPOS that you hmm. that's not working either. It rig's still running. Well, I guess we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. All right, I just did it the old-fashioned way. Flash the USB stick, put MMPOS on there, and here we are. So I'm just going to go into this rig. No minor profile is attached. I'm pretty sure I have a Zephyr minor profile. There it is, Cryptex. So make sure. Yep, that looks like it's the one. Let's go back over to rigs. Over to here. General settings is good. I 
and turn huge pages on random, random X and on a fresh install what we should do is the MMP update and MMP OS uh, MMP upgrade Probably should just do putty. Do minor MMP OS. So we're going to do MMP space update and and MMP upgrade. Okay, yes. And it's gonna go through this whole process and uh, this might take a little bit um, so what I'm gonna do is I'll stop this and then I'll come back alrighty that didn't take too long it actually only took about a minute or two uh, so all drivers are update good to go I'm gonna close and terminate session currently saying minor down because there is no minor profile set here so I'm gonna go switch to minor profile and hit Monero cryptex switch the minor profile has been updated. And looks like we're going to start hashing here soon. Got an eye on the minor because it's basically right behind me underneath my TV because it's CPU rigs are in my living room underneath my TV. Looks like the miner started. I should have left that console open, actually. Uh, let's go back in here. Pull her back up. Miner and Miner. That's interesting. Hang on a second. I'm just going to hop back over and see if it's still running. Looks like it is. Miner is, looks like it is running. I'm going to hit escape on the keyboard. Waiting for an accepted share. It looks like it keeps restarting the miner for some reason. And we crashed. Alright, finally got it figured out. Uh, apparently, I had some settings wrong in the BIOS and it kept crashing XM rig and I went back to HiveOS. Kept crashing in there as well. And then went back to MMPOS. Well, I went into the BIOS settings, reset the default, and uh, went back through and did the power on, on the turn on, on uh, the boot on power on type settings. And uh, just messed around with the voltage a little bit and saved it. And now it seems to be working. Although I had the voltage set at 1. Oh, one basically 1.1, 1 .1, and it's showing 1.244 whatever it's using around 100 watts um good with that it's up it's running 16 accepted shares it's been going for about 10 minutes now so 
I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, because actually this thing has been running for God knows how long just on stock settings in the BIOS and not under voltage or anything. Uh, so I was probably using way more power than I should have been. So it is what it is. The, uh, I never knew when I first got into CPU mining, I never knew a whole lot about the, like the BIOS settings and things like that. And I was just too damn lazy to set things back up with the monitor and stuff to, and keyboard and to uh, change the BIOS settings in it. Um, when I set up my 59th, 100 X rigs. Um, I did that right away, uh, but I had monitors and stuff like that set up on them, and those MSI GP, GPUs, just those MSI G710s or whatever they are. Um, so I used that, and I had everything set up. But so far, we're up. We're up, we're running um, the migration directly from Hive to MMPOS. I could not get the work. Um, so I'm going to do some more research on that. I probably should have did some research before I decided to do the video, but I thought it would be a matter of just copy and pasting some codes, some command lines, and that would be it. Lo and behold, that is not. Um, so I just basically flashed another USB stick with the MMPOS, put that on there, and uh, as long as it didn't F up the, the BIOS settings, it would have been a whole lot easier, but um, oops. So... Anyway, we're up and running. Uh, one more rig over on the uh, MMPOS. Uh, next one will probably be the 2700 rig. Because uh, if we go back into my hive, I got 26 bucks left there in about a month to go. Uh, so eventually, I think the game plan is to get everything moved over at some point. Um, but as of right now, uh, it's just been a slow process. So just got to work her down, which is that guy. So I do have three of them over to MMPOS right now. And as you can see, I'm still mining Elysium and pretty much everything. So, but anyway, finally got it up and working. Um, hopefully, the, now I know not the, what to the screw with anyway. Although the motherboards are different on the, on the 2700 rig. It's a, 20, it's a gigabyte one. Uh, so the BIOS is going to be different in that one as well because that thing's been running full bore since I had it too. So, oh well. We'll have to mess with it and figure that out, and uh, hopefully maybe save a little bit of power if I could get the uh, the voltage down in the 2700x. If not, I'll just let it rip because it's been for the last how many years. So anyway, until the next one, catch you later.